welcome to the third episode of the Top Surgery Chronicles. I guess you're just what I need. I know you're excited, but you're gonna have to wait to see the reveal. I want you to experience the whole journey. So let's rewind a bit to the morning of July 1st, only a few hours before Grace and I headed down to Fort Lauderdale. We leave for Florida this morning, and I have a talking sweatshirt <laughs> that I'm gonna bring with me. Yeah, cause Ash isn't here. Where's Ash? I don't know. Uh, no? Nope. You promise? I'm just a talking sweatshirt. I can't make promises. <laughs> Is the talking sweatshirt maybe a little nervous? Look! The sweatshirt gave birth to a human! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous. Then we packed our bags and headed south. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it to Florida. We haven't vlogged a ton since we landed, but... Mostly because sweatshirts don't know how to vlog. Hey, everyone. So this is the Airbnb we yeah. rented. Taking them on a tour. Tour. Okay. Just in case you are uninterested in getting motion sickness as a result of the following very shaky tour, here is an expedited version. And the TLDR is that Airbnbs are way cheaper and roomier than hotels. Also, they have kitchens. Look at that, there's a pool out there because this is an apartment complex that technically isn't supposed to be an Airbnb, but the person is secretive, so it is. And we have not one, but two bedrooms and bathrooms turned on light, which we don't need. This Airbnb with two bedrooms and bathrooms was in a better location and more affordable than a hotel room that had one bedroom and bathroom and no kitchen, so. Not spawns, but Airbnb all day, every day, is the moral of the story. Also, since we have the kitchen, we can cook our food, which is so much cheaper than going out to eat every freaking all the time. Oh yeah. Save money, be healthy. That day I had my pre-op appointment where I got to meet Dr. G face to face for the very first time. He has like a spiel that he delivers a billion times a year. I listened to it, I felt very informed. He was funny, asked a lot of questions about Minnesota. He doesn't understand how humans survive with snow and cold. I don't know, we just do. I liked him, nice guy. We are on our way to the pre-op appointment. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, yeah. Sorry about that. I was really nervous and felt super self-conscious filming, so that's all you get. <laughs> you really didn't miss much. I took off my shirt, he looked at my boobs, said, yep, there's two of them, cool. Soon there'll be zero. I do this all the time. The exciting part happened on my way out the door when I ran into someone I really admire. Their name is Mal. They're a non-binary singer-songwriter. Insert music here. If I had my way, we'd go out every night. It'd be perfect every time. I watch reruns of the Jersey Shore. Snooki drank too much, now she's on the floor. Awkwardly said hi and we became best friends. No, but we did get lunch at a Waffle House and I fan personed a bit. It was cool. We're teaching Mal how to vlog. I'm a YouTuber now. Well, we are at Waffle House. I don't, I can't see what I'm in. I usually have a camera, but it's wonderful. We met this wonderful person. Um, I was just here at the Waffle House. They just found me. <laughs> That's true. No, but how did we actually find you? If you uh, are comfortable sharing. Yeah, at the doctor's office. <laughs> You're like, hi, are you Mel? And I was like, yes, I am. It was super dope seeing someone else who was getting top surgery and not on T. I didn't like know it, but I think I needed to see that while I was down there. And I guess the universe helped me out. So thanks. 
world. Also, we found out our surgery was on the same day. Neat. On the 4th of July, I wrote this letter declaring independence from my titties. So, hey everybody. Tomorrow is my top surgery and Grace and I are going to do an exercise that may help me if I get super nervous right beforehand or if I get super regretful right after. We're gonna write a letter about why I'm getting top surgery. This is something that a few friends have told me they've done and it makes a lot of sense and I can see why it's helpful. Are you gonna write it to yourself? Yeah, right? Yeah, okay. So, dear Ash. Dear Ash, it's the night before your top surgery and you love to prepare for the worst. In case you're having an anxiety attack, just know that years of thought, reflection, and pain have led you to make this decision. It's the right decision. Here's a list of the times and ways your pre-op chest has caused you strife. When you've not been allowed to wear the clothes that make you comfortable. When you're feeling yourself but can't take your eyes off the one thing in the mirror you hate. It ruins the whole night. When you've bound so much it physically hurts. When you need to take a break from binding and the sight of your chest is so jarring you don't want to go in public. When you couldn't breathe because you felt like you were holding a secret. You admitted to yourself privately that you wanted surgery, but the thought of others' disapproval suffocated you. When you've wanted to do very unhealthy things to erase your chest. Ash, here are some of the things you're looking forward to. Feeling a t-shirt on your skin. No more feeling the need to hunch. And no more hiding. Love, Ash! Tell yourself that you love yourself. I love and July 5th was the day of the chop. We are on our way to surgery. We are on our way to surgery. We're so gay. I have a headache and I'm hungry. When was the last time you ate? Midnight. <laughs> happy, but do not be deceived. I hadn't eaten since midnight, per instruction, and Garamoni was running like several hours behind. I was his fifth surgery of that day, so I was actually just a hangry ball of nerves. It did help, however, that I had a buddy to be anxious with. Mal was his fourth surgery of that day. That's a lot of surgeries. I feel awesome, I feel so good. I came out of surgery, this operation room or whatever and I was crying. Oh, you were? I was, but tears of like joy. Uh -huh. And I kept thanking people like I do after surgery, that's all I do. I'm like, you did so well, <laughs> good job. You're very skilled. <laughs> I was really nervous about feeling super scared and like messed up after. And it actually already feels like flat and awesome, even though it's like under millions of bandages so i'm like really stoked the more i wake up yeah the more sore it gets so that kind of sucks i really want to go home and i want to watch movies and i feel good i'm really happy well prepare for all of the pampering that you can handle everything hurts yeah recovery was a roller coaster some days were great some not so much here's lots of clips of that what is it, day three? Well, we'll take your second full day post-op. So you had your surgery on Thursday, and it's currently Saturday. Yeah, today's been the hardest day so far. I've just had, like, no energy, and I feel like today's a little hard to breathe. I don't know why. I don't know if, like, I have some swelling, so the bandages are super tight, or mm -hmm. what the deal is. Hello! So, I am... Bubba, how many days post-op am I? I'm four days post-op! Right now, the only thing that I, like, don't like, it's not having a flat chest, but it's, like, the consequences of, like, surgical trauma. Because all I want to do is hug my body and be like, I'm so sorry, you'll be okay. And, like, I want you just to be healthy. You know, it makes you question things like, was this worth it? Why'd you, like, hurt yourself? Stuff like that. But I have to remember, there are plenty of reasons why it is worth it, and I didn't hurt myself. I did something that is gonna make me ultimately way stronger longer and way mentally happier. Needing to put my body through something that requires recovery is just a necessary step in that journey. Hey everybody! So if you're squeamish, I'll share a time signature right now you can skip to so you don't have to watch this part. But we're going to show you what it's like to clean drains and empty drains. So these are the drains. They just sit right here and they hook onto your bandages and they slowly fill. Yeah, so go ahead Booba.
Mm -hmm. That is how you clean your drains. I don't like that. I don't like that part, just for the record. But Grace does a good job at helping me. Today's the day that I get the bandages off. They are so tight that it's the worst thing about recovery, in my opinion, is how tight the bandages are. The drains on the side dig into your sides. I feel like I have like cuts. I probably don't, but that's what it feels like. And for the very first time, I've gotten my first migraine. I've never had a migraine in my life. But it hurts to focus on things. My vision is blurry. Looking at the light is horrible. I puked twice. I was just walking and I was just overcome with the, the whatever, the feeling, the urge, the uncontrollable. I'm gonna puke, so I puked twice in the sink of our Airbnb. I wanted to not call and I wanted to do everything right the whole time. I wanted to keep the bandages just as tight as I got them on the whole time. I was trying really hard to be a trooper and keep it that way the whole time and we're only five hours away from getting them off but I just couldn't. I guess yeah, so we called and I asked if we could loosen them. He said yes. Now I wish I just would have done that sooner. <laughs> it feels a lot better. Now I just need my migraine to go away. Okay, well, it's gonna get better because these are gonna come off. And only a handful of hours later, we did indeed make it to G-Money's office, where finally the moment arrived that I'm sure most of you have been waiting for. He took off my bandages and I got to see my flat chest. But before the big reveal, please enjoy this emotional montage of everything that led up to it. to tease you, but Grace actually surprised me with a secret video that I got to wake up to and watch the morning after my surgery. Oh, And I want to show you all this love before I show you the titty. Hey baby, it's the morning of your top surgery. You're sleeping, which is good. I didn't think you would. So I made this for you to remind you that so many people love you and support you and are with you and you're so valid and you're perfect. I love you. Enjoy. Hello, my love. Hey, Ash. Hi, Ash. Hi, Ash. I'm so excited that you're done with surgery. Hope you're feeling good, baby. Happy top Happy surgery. Top surgery. <laughs> so I'm supposed to make some sort of video like congratulating you about something or like wishing you well for something. <laughs> We've done this like 10 times, I'm sorry. Yeah, who keeps making us refilm it? And I know you're probably feeling pretty crappy right now, but I just wanted to say how much I love you. I just wanted to drop a little video note here uh, for you while you're recovering, um, just to say that I hope you're having a really good recovery. We're all here for you if you need anything, if you have any questions, any concerns, if you need to vent, anything like that. I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you for doing the surgery and changing your body to fit the way that you will be most comfortable. And I admire your bravery. I know, whatever, corny shit, whatever. You have a big audience and there's a lot of stuff that you talked about that you know people are gonna be mad about. And I think that it's just such a great thing for you to be able to express yourself online and express who you are. I can't wait to see how surgery improves your life. And I hope that you just feel like the most you. We're proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you for just being authentically you. I can't wait for you to feel happier and more yourself and congrats on taking that step. It's it's awesome. I remember surgery five years ago and waking up and just my life changed forever and I hope that you feel like I felt because that 
feeling was like no other. Honestly, I'm gonna start crying. Top surgery changed my life, honestly, so I'm really happy for you. That is really exciting. It's really cool. It just like hit me how exciting that is, like legit. Thank you so much for like everything you've done for everyone because you've done so much and I don't know what I would have done without you. Since meeting you, my life has been a lot better. You've introduced me to so much of our community that I didn't even understand. So much about myself that I didn't even understand. We're so excited for this next part of your life and that we get to be a part of it. We're super excited that you're gonna be standing by our side on our wedding day. You've always been there for me and you're always one of my biggest supporters. So I hope that I can be that for you. If things are tougher than you, know, you expected or you know maybe things are going rough, then I am especially sending you good vibes and strength and happiness. Remember to ask the people around you for help when you need it because they're there for that and you deserve all the love and care and support in the world. Yeah! We love you, bye! We love you. We love you! And I can't wait until I get to see you again. Yeah, that's all. Love you so much. Bye. Yeah. Okay, bye! Bye. Bye. I'll talk to you soon, Ash. Okay, okay, okay. You've been patient enough. Here we go. Ladies and gentle thems, I give you my new designer nipples. Oh my goodness. All right, we're just gonna take a look. That was awesome. Yeah, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> so terrified that top surgery was going to be the wrong decision. Not because that's how I felt, but because so many people on the internet just kept ramming that into me. And when you hear something like 700 times, you just start to believe it. You start to doubt yourself. After surgery, there was not only this wave of euphoria, but also the biggest wave of relief because, I mean, you can choose to believe me or not believe me. That's totally your prerogative. You get to make that choice. But I'm telling you that it was the right decision and I'm so happy. Take it or leave it doesn't matter to me because I'm the one who has to deal with the emotions and the consequences of the choice and I'm just a super grateful, satisfied, Beans. So yeah, you just got to see a whole lot of happy, happy, happy. But like I said, the journey has been hella emotional and I was super wound up beforehand. To cope, something I utilized quite a bit was BetterHelp, this video's sponsor. I've talked about BetterHelp before. It's a platform that gives folks access to therapy from the comfort of their home or Airbnb or wherever. You can connect with licensed counselors and therapists through phone, email, messages, etc. Which was incredibly helpful for my late night, last minute, unplanned panic attacks. Just knowing that someone was there to listen was really nice. I definitely encourage anyone who's even thought about therapy to sign up, check it out. I'll put the link for them below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Some of my future videos have boobs because I filmed stuff at VidCon and I'm a slow editor. Okay, bye.